How you going? Hatless Chimp here again with another video for you guys. Today I'm going to show you how to kerf this MDF. Now it's 25mm thick and after I've cut the slots into it and I'm going to show you what I did to calculate that, um, you'll be able to bend it like this, glue it into position um, and voila, you've just elevated your speaker project to another level. Alright, so this is the outside of my enclosure that I have curved. Just showing this as a bit of a preview. And that's the dry fit right there. I'm hoping it will resemble something like this when I'm finished. It's going to be a Bluetooth speaker, uh, mono. So we'll see how that sounds. Here's just a little bit of a rendering that I've done in SolidWorks. I want to try and get a colour like this. I think it will look fantastic if it's a red like that. Uh, there's many to pick from. And I got the idea from the Mazda, the new Mazda range that's out. They've got a beautiful red uh, metallic that's out with a bit of pearl. So I started off with a bit of scrap material and I did some cuts and soon worked out that 1mm to 1.2mm was the thickness of material I needed to leave so my MDF would be able to bend and not snap the material. I kept adding more and more cuts until I was able to get a 90 degree bend out of the material and determined that it was a 65 degree radius. Another thing to note is don't go any less than 6mm between your lines. So if you've got a 3mm blade, you should have roughly around about 3mm left. So with the drawing that I made up in Google SketchUp, I was able to select the circumference and that told me the distance of my material that needed to be. And then by selecting these partitions here that I've made, I was able to determine where the center points of my curfing needed to be. So we know the material should be 1260 long. And then the first one's 222 mil. That's going to be the bottom there. That's one half of the bottom. And then we've got 186 again on top of that. That's one of the sides. And then the next section is the top, which is a full piece, uh, 444. And then another side, which is another 186 that gets added on. And then the last bit, which is the other side of the bottom, should be 222 mil. So here's Google SketchUp telling me that's 102 mil that radius distance there. And there's the center point. And then from there, should be 51 mil each side, 102 mil overall. But you probably get away with 103, 104. That's no problem. It looks cool how it bends like that. All right, let's get on to assembly now. And I've sped it up a little bit. The full video will be uh, will be uploaded later down the track, but uh, this will give you a good insight with the uh, curve in and that. I think it's quite relevant since it, um, it's the main technique here in this speaker build. Although that I'm using glue here on the curves, later on when it's all dried, I actually use fiberglass resin to further strengthen them corners up. You probably think that I've got a glue sponsorship or something like that, the way I use it.
And here's some of that resin that I applied to the corners to help give it a bit more strength. You'll see more of that in the final video when I upload that. And also here's the speakers that will be going into it, the two woofers and the tweeter with the amplifier and uh, a few other bits and pieces. And thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And you can find me on Instagram um, and see what I'm up to with all my builds and all that there. Cheers. Slots in it like this, allowing you to bend the wood or the MDF. Um, it's one of the most satisfying um, things that you can do as far as Hey going, it's Hatless Chimp here again with another video for you.